I've already made a complete tutorial showing you how to use Accurig. The link is in the description. I make sure I use the A pose and then export the character as an FBX. I make sure that the target application is Unreal. And I use the original option for the textures. You need to download and install the auto setup for Unreal Engine. The link is in the description. I'll be using the third person template in Unreal. Under the edit menu, under plugins, I activate character creator and iClone auto setup and restart the engine. Under the characters folder, I create a new folder. I then create a folder for the character in this new folder. In a new folder, I import the character. I'll leave everything at default except under the skeletal meshes option. Under the common skeletal meshes and animation panel, I activate use to as ref pose to avoid any anomalies within the skeleton. I also make sure to activate import morph targets. Now note, if you're using a version earlier than 5.5.3, you'll find this option under the advanced options. I make a new folder for rigs. In the character folder, I open the mannequin UE4 folder and then open the rigs folder. I select the IK UE4 and RTG UE5 blueprints and copy them to my character rigs folder. I rename both blueprints. I open the IK blueprint and change the preview skeletal mesh to the character I imported. If I click on reset, I can make sure the character will be in the correct position. Once I save this, I now have an IK rig. I open the retargeting blueprint and change the IK rig to my character. I then save. In the asset browser, I can look for an animation and export it into a new folder. I can then export as many animations as I wish into the animations folder. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video about exporting a character from Accurig to Unreal Engine 5, you may enjoy this video. Have a good day.